Hey everyone, it's Danielle again. So, um, the last video I did, I told you guys about how I was making hats for the piano player at my church to give to people in her office that come in and do not have um, hats during the winter time to keep them warm. And um, this has been my little project I've taken on over the last week. Um, I didn't actually start on these hats until, I want to say Wednesday. Today made four days. Um, well, today is on Saturday. It's now 1.15 in the morning, which would technically be Sunday. But anyways, Saturday was four days. Um, so I've decided that I'm just going to go ahead and give her what I have already done tomorrow morning at church and then just let her know if she needs more hats or starts running low, let me know and I'll make her some more. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have and I'm going to show the ones that I already showed the other day too so that you can see all the ones I've made so far. Uh, this one is the only one that I did not make within the last four days because this one I had previously made but I didn't like um, for myself how it looked. I mean it's bright colors, I love bright colors, I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided to go ahead and donate this one. Somebody will like it. It'll make somebody's day, and it's very thick, and will keep them very warm. So this was, I love this yarn, dark neons, just um, ribbed beanie. This is one that I showed the other day. They're looking kind of wonky because I've had them folded. Um, this is the... Um, Gala yarn from Big Lots, which all those labels say the same thing. They all say acrylic, polyester, and nylon. Um, and I know that Olivia Bennett has said this before, but I swear some of this yarn feels like it has wool in it. I mean, it's this is super soft. Um, and I was actually really surprised, but it came out really soft, really nice and squishy. But it's just uh, like a reddish tan and gray. Um, so there's that one. There's this one that I showed the other day. And I just made all like simple, basic beanie hats that will come down over the ears. Um, I can get more hats done that way, so... There's that one that I showed the other day. This one I have not showed. And this is actually, uh, it's coming off blue, but it's more like a um, bluish purple color. I don't know how it's going to come out to you guys. but And then I just mixed the black with them, put a black stripe, and then um, black and the band part because I could only find one skein of this yarn and it wasn't enough to get the hat done. I have just a black one and it also, all of these yarns are like super soft. I don't think that they're just acrylic. And everything except the first hat that I showed is all the one dollar um, gala yarn from Big Lots. So, and then there's this one. This one, I know, definitely has wool in it. So, I don't know what's up with their yarn, but they all have the same band on them. They all say they have the same thing in them, and I know this has wool in it. Anyways, there's that one. It's like variegated blues. Very pretty, very soft and squishy. have a all brown one. 
This yarn is also very soft, very warm, and um, I tried to make uh, some hats that could, you know, maybe be for ladies, and then some that were also um, gender neutral, because I'm sure that there'll be men that need hats to keep warm during the winter, too. Uh, here is a black and brown one. This top, the brown is um, leftover from this one because it actually took a little more than one skein to do um, a hat and everything except the black. I was able to get the black hat out of one skein of yarn. Everything else I had to use more than one skein, like a skein and then a little bit extra, but of course those are small balls. Um, so brown and black and then with the remaining brown I had I put down here in the band with the black just so it didn't look like like it looks like I meant to do that and that I didn't run out of yarn at least that's my story and then I have this one that I just finished tonight I, I did this one and the brown and black one today so and this is the remaining of that um, partial ball that I had from the other hat that was all uh, this here the reddish orangish with the gray and then I just mixed it with black and then did all black at the band so that is all I have I have six, nine hats total to give her in the morning so hopefully that's going to be nine people that will stay warm this winter um, it's very sad to me that there's people that don't have winter hats and coats and gloves when we live in a very cold climate during the winter and have lots of snow and ice so I know nine hats is not a lot but it's a lot to somebody who has nothing so I'm gonna go for now and get to bed so I can go to church in the morning and give these to her so take care everybody thanks bye